All right, good morning. Hello, hello. Today we're doing Focus 6 to 7, Dream Home. My name is Oscar. I'm a teacher at the Via Baraka School in Florence, and I'm from Hastings, a town in South England. And today I'm joined by, who, who are you? Oh, I am Verogan. Good morning. Um, I come from South Africa. I'm 27 years old and I'm a teacher at Florence <laughs> via Baraka with Oscar. Oh, oh now I remember. Now <laughs> Do you remember me? Yeah. Hello, Beatricia. Good morning. I'm Beatricia from Milano. Hello. Have you a good night? Oh, okay. Nearly correct. Mm. This is like a, was like a, a past present perfect question isn't it present so, perfect. Have, yeah. Yeah. It's, a bit, it's a bit off yeah did you have a good night yeah could do. did you have a good Often night did you have a good night nice. or have you had a good night right either I one did. yeah i had a good night what about you what did you do oscar um yeah it was okay i finished teaching at 9 p.m. Uh, and then I chatted with a friend in California for a bit and then I read some of my book and then I fell asleep. <laughs> Very nice and you Beatrice <laughs> did you have a good night? Yes. Yeah, have you had a good night? Let us know how you've been keeping yourself busy. Cool okay. Um, focus six to seven, dream home. Dream home. Have you thought mm. about a dream home or do you have your dream home? <laughs> Lately with the quarantine, I've been dreaming of my dream home. Okay. I want a big garden. Oh, a big yeah. Garden, a big kitchen and lots of sunlight in my dream home. Mm. What about you, Oscar? Um, not really. I don't really... I'm not looking for a home right now. I'm still a nomad. I'm still traveling around. Um, I'm sure one day I'll think about it. Uh, but if I've spent most of my life traveling, I probably won't have any money. So, <laughs> Well, you've got the whole focus to decide what your dream home will be. True, true. You can decide it here. Okay. Guys who are joining us, welcome. Thank you for joining us this welcome, morning. Guys. Please write your name and where you are from. I am going to be doing Oscar's famous points system. Ooh. Oh, exciting. Yes, so if you comment and you get a point, very simple. Uh, Beatrice, <laughs> you have done the first comment and you have a point. I think it's Beatrice, isn't it? Beatrice. Um, yeah, but in Italian, it's like Beat Beatrice. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because they do the Cs like ch. Okay. Oh, look at this. We're learning. Ah, oh, Alexia's here. We had her last night. Hello, Alexia. Hi, Alexia. And Lorena. Hi, Lorena from Milan. Milan's representing. Good. Cool. All right. Good. Fantastic. Um, let's get started. Let's go. Dream home. Rogan, can you read this for me, please? Sure. In this focus activity, talking about your dream home using quantifiers, using new vocabulary. Yes, quantifiers. Mm. Does that look like what a nice What are quantifiers, word? Oscar? Quantifiers are words, adjectives we use to describe amounts, quantities. <laughs> cool. I have a lot of friends. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. Must be nice. I have a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of free time. <laughs> Me too. Good. Thank okay. You. Where would you rather live? Why? Hmm. Mm. Let's discuss this one. And then we can move on and we'll get them to uh, comment on the next one. So where would you rather live, Brogan? A city or the countryside? I mm. think at the moment I would like to live in the countryside. Because there's lots of free space and lots of nature around. What about you, Oscar? Yeah, I think now in the quarantine, <laughs> the countryside looks really good, doesn't it? Um, to be able to go out walking in nature and not, oh, not be stopped. 
by the police would be nice. Um, and right, the lovely. city, do you like living in the city? Yes, I like living in the city. Um, I like being near lots of attractions, things to do. I like being near my friends. Um, yeah. Nice. yeah, I like it. Okay. All right, guys. Um, okay, Brogan, can you read this, please? Sure. Uh, dream homes, matching the different types of home with the right picture. Houseboats, mansion, beach house, ranch, chalet, penthouse. Okay, right. Um, Beatricia, Alexia and Lorena, we are going to need your help for this one. There are points to be had. <laughs> Yay! You need to match the letter with the name. Um, I would live in a countryside. Hmm. Mm. Do, we, do we use a with countryside? No, we don't. It's not no. specific. We use no. the, the countryside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always the countryside, yeah. yeah. The, the beach, the countryside, the mountains. Thank okay. you for correcting me there, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've been waiting for us to do a webinar together. <laughs> I did the spelling check, which was good. <laughs> good. All right, guys. So um, you're going to match these. A, what is picture... A. a what is picture a do you see a lot of these broken um in south africa yes we did see a lot a lot of those but we didn't call it what they calling it here mm. so, yes beatrice a right another point for you fantastic in the uk would you call it a ranch oscar no 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 yeah. no no, ranch is very American. We would okay. call it a barn. A barn. Yeah, we would say the same. Yeah. A barn. Okay. Um, B. Mm. B. Mm. Oh. Ah, I see. What do you think, guys? Have we already got some answers? Um, Beatrice, B. Penthouse. Yeah. Beatrice. Oh, Alexia, I live in the countryside, but I would like to live in a beach house. <laughs> me too, yeah. Alexia. Me too. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so I think Beatrice said a penthouse for B. Good. Okay. Yeah. Uh Beatrice, just be careful with your spelling. So it's penthouse H O U S E and C House Boat H O U S E. Okay, so just be a little careful with your spelling. Very good. Um, Alexia, you'll get a point for your comment. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, good stuff. Can I get now? points, Oscar? Um, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> if you impress me, but your your bar is a bit higher. Okay. Um, <laughs> not that much higher. Okay, uh see. Uh, again, yeah, houseboat, Beatrice. Lovely. Nice. It's well done. a it's a house on the water. Oh, storming ahead there. Very good. <laughs> Just remember the spelling, Patricia. It's beach house with the O. Beach house. Beach horse. House. Sounds a bit German if you said like house. <laughs> horse. Go yeah. to my beach horse. <laughs> okay. Actually, sounds a bit Afrikaans. <laughs> right. Um, e, Alexia. Beautiful. Nice, well done. Mansion. Really good. Thank you for interacting, guys. You're doing really good. Mm -hmm. Alexa, two points. Fantastic. And the last one, of course. How do you pronounce this word, Brogan? Oh, I say chalet. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's a French word, mm -hmm. chalet. Chalet. Um, but chalet would be funnier. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you look at it, you think, oh, what is it? Yeah, chalet without the T. Kind of yeah. chalet. Exactly. Chalet. Nice. Very good. So which one of these would you like to live, Oscar? Um hmm. why don't you go first? So I think it would be really cool to live in a houseboat in Amsterdam. <laughs> a houseboat in Amsterdam. Okay. <laughs> I would love to. One day. Mm. Yeah, I guess it would be nice. 
Is yeah. that like, can you actually move? Um, so for, I stayed in a houseboat in Amsterdam for a month and I don't think you can move the boats. You kind of like rent space in the, in the water, but I don't think you can move it. Mm, well, you can, for, but it's not easy to move it. For a month in Amsterdam. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> I had a whale of a time. <laughs> and do which one would you like to live in? I think for me, a chalet. Yeah, I'm more of like a mountains kind of guy. Nice. I don't really like the beach, um, but I do love mountains. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that. A mansion could be okay. Could be okay. <laughs> I think in a, a quarantine, a mansion would be great. Oh, yeah, which you could go for a walk in your own house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going for a walk now. Uh, Beatrice, I like to live in a chalet. Okay, good. Because this is hypothetical, we're using the modal wood. It's like, if I could... I would, I would modal so I would like to live in a chalet if you're using in general you do live in a chalet now yeah I like to live in a chalet mm. but hypothetical would would because it's not true unfortunately yes <laughs> lovely okay um Alessia Lorena we are waiting for you guys who have joined the chat which one would you like to live in hmm and why Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, have you ever been to a mansion, Beatrice? Uh, sorry, Brogan. <laughs> um, I think I have. I have been in a in a mansion. Mm. I suppose the houses in South Africa are quite big, so absolutely. I've been, I've been yeah. in one or two. I've never been to a ranch, which I think I would like to. I would like to go to a ranch. You must have been to a ranch in South Africa, surely. No, I don't. I don't think I have. You don't have any farmer friends. <laughs> no, I don't have any uh, farmer friends. No farmer friends. Okay. No farmer friends. And you? Have you? Um, been to a, a farm or a ranch? Yeah. Yeah, my my friends. Um, I grew up in the countryside, oh, so there were lots of farms around me. So I spent lots of time uh, with my friends on farms. Yeah, cool. Causing trouble. Yes. Um, were the animals on the farm? There were indeed, yes, there were lots nice. of animals. Um, very good. Okay, uh, Lorena, I would like to live in the beach house. Nice, yes. Me too. Do you love the beach, Lorena? Brogan, do you love the beach? I do love the beach, yes. Oh. I like sunbathing and relaxing in the water. Mm, okay. And you, well, you don't like the beach? No, I, I, I can't relax. Um, Alexia, I would like to live in a beach house because I love sea. All right, mm. good. But we need an article. Mm -hmm. I love countryside. Mm -mm. I love the countryside. We need the article the. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm so pale, Brogan. You see, I, I can't relax on the beach. I just get burned. <laughs> Ah, it's okay. For me. <laughs> yes, you're one of those UK people that burn very quickly. Exactly. And if I do put on sun cream, I always miss parts of my body, <laughs> like a, a zebra patch. Um, Interesting. Lorena, Alessia, thank you for commenting. You got points. Points for interacting. Thank you. Um, it, what do we call someone who loves the beach? Brogan. What do you call? Someone who loves the beach. Can we give a name for them? A beach baby? No. Yeah, okay, good. Beach. I say maybe a beach babe. Ah, okay. Yeah, a beach, a beach babe. Bunny. A beach? Bunny. Bunny. Yeah. We would say a gym bunny. A gym someone bunny. Gym. Yeah, someone who loves the gym. Mm. Well, we're just applying that to <laughs> everything. <laughs> Uh, Ren, yes, I love relaxing and running on the beach. Very oh, nice. Nice. I like that. I exercising on the beach. Fantastic, Thank guys. You. Really well done. Okay, match the different pictures. That match the different features with the right picture. Uh, Brogan, could you read these, please? Of course. Um, we've got a swimming pool, fireplace, walk-in closet, home theatre, and wine cellar. Mm. 
some nice things there. Um, what's your favourite one? And guys in the comments, please match these up for us because we don't know. So letter A, what is that? Is that fireplace? Let us know in the comments. Uh, and there are lots of points to be had. Oh, Alexia. Nice, Alexia's got it again. Wine, wine cellar. cellar. Nice, good. Oh, I would love a wine cellar in my dream home. Mm, Sounds nice. fantastic about now. Yeah. Sounds good. I told you they've run out of beer in the supermarkets. <laughs> well, you gotta go to that corner shop, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do need to check it out, the corner shop. Um, mine actually is on the corner, so I have no problem calling ah, it. <laughs> there we go. Um, Alessia, oh, Gino, thank you for joining us. Your Hi. first point. Well done, Swing Gino. Ball. And Alexia again. Alexia's in the lead now. She's on five points. <laughs> oh, Alexia last night was also way above answering all the questions. So, well done, Alexia. Good. I'd like to hear that. Good. Yeah. Um, yes, but I hopefully that they won't run out of wine. I think if Italians run out of wine, they really oh. will be. Then it's the end of the world. Yeah. Gino and Alexia, very good. More nice, points. well done. Yeah, a walk-in closet. Have you ever had a walk-in closet? Um, yes, I did have a walk-in closet uh, back in South Africa, but now mm. I've got a tiny little closet. Oh. Okay. And you, have you had a walk-in closet? Uh, no, but I've had bedrooms that were the size of a walk-in closet, so <laughs> that counts. Same here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're already on it, these guys. Yes, they are. They're going way ahead. Very good. Points, points, points. Good. A home theatre. That would be pretty nice. That would be cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right. Um, can you read the first question? Of course. Does your home have any of these features? What type of home is your ideal home? Which feature would you like to have in your ideal home? Which feature is the most useful to have? Mm. Let's ask them number one. Uh, which feature would you like to have? So, guys, you can choose a swimming pool or a fireplace or a walk-in closet, <laughs> which one would you choose? I know which one I would choose. Or uh, a Lorena, wine cellar. Wine cellar, swimming pool, walk-in closet. Uh, perfect, really good, Lorena. Well Points for you. Good. Um, yeah, okay, what about you, Brogan? Which, what would be your favorite feature? I think my favorite feature at the moment would have to be a swimming pool. A swimming pool because if there's a swimming pool it means it's in the sun and i would love to get some sun at the moment yes yeah so would you have an outdoor swimming pool or an indoor swimming pool oh, definitely an outdoor swimming pool really yeah what would you like an indoor swimming pool yeah hell yeah yeah because <laughs> then really? like, you don't need to worry about the weather you know it's never cold yeah for me, an outdoor swimming pool, I think. In South Africa, you can probably have an outdoor swimming pool and it's fine. Um, yeah. But in England, people True. do have outdoor swimming pools, but of course, there's only one day of the year they can use it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, Gino, I'd like to have a heated swimming pool because I can use it during the winter. That is a fantastic nice. sentence. Really well good, Gino. Fantastic. Ah, yeah, very good. Alexia, I'd like to have a swimming pool and wine cellar. All right, okay. I'd like to have a walk-in closet because I have a lot of dresses. Nice, yeah. Lorena. Mm -hmm. Very good, fantastic, guys. Good answer. Awesome, there. well nice. done, very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, what about our home theatre, Brogan? Mm, it's not high on my list, but it would be nice, I suppose. Oh, not too fussy. Okay. I just use my laptop anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> you just stay in bed with the laptop and that is the thing. Yeah. Good. All right, guys. Um, we're really going to need your help here for these. Good. So fill in the gaps with some, any, or enough. So you can write number one, 
some, any, or enough. Okay. Um, we're going to leave you to fill these in, and me and Brogan are going to have a chat using these quantifiers. Oh, I love them. So, <clears throat> Brogan, uh, yeah. do you have enough toilet paper? <laughs> Um, yes, I have some toilet paper, or I have plenty of toilet paper. Mm, good. Good. Oscar, do you have enough beer? No, I only have one bottle. I don't have enough beer. Oh. It's sad. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a bottle of wine, actually. That's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any friends? Yes, I have. <laughs> I was going to use the negative, but I think that'd be a bit sad. <laughs> yes, I have some friends. Nice. I have some friends. Okay. Are um, they still in right. Florence? Um, one or two are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and of course, all the other teachers, including you, my colleagues. <laughs> um, right, Lorena, um, there isn't enough wine in the wine cellar. We only have a few bottles left. Fantastic. Well really good. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that is Lorena and Alexia. Points. Boom. Very good. Number two. Uh, Lorena says some. Hmm. Mm. Is there water in the swimming pool? No, it's empty. Okay. So when we ask a question, we don't really use some. I know the answer. Go on, Brogan. You want your point? <laughs> I want my point. We <laughs> use any. Any for negatives and questions. Good. Brogan, Can I get, you get a point? First. You're on there now. You get your yes. first point. <laughs> Exciting. Good. Alexia, yeah, any. Good. Nice. Well done. I like this beach house, but there isn't mm -mm, furniture. It's unfurnished. Yes. What do you think, guys? Uh, a bit sure. I should have a swimming pool. Okay. Again, careful with spelling. Okay. Swimming pool because I'd like to wake up and swim. Okay, lovely. So I should have a swimming pool because I'd very, very good. I would. I'd like to wake up. Okay. To wake up and swimming. Hmm. Hmm. I would just say using... and go swimming. Could I'd do. Like to wake yeah. up and go swimming. Yeah, good. Um, so number three, what are we doing? Uh, Lorena says any. Very good because it's negative. Good nice. points for you, Lorena. Done. Number four, Brogan. Can you read this? Yes, the apartment doesn't have. Mm, windows. There isn't much natural light. Mm. This is my mm. apartment. There isn't much natural light. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Again, it's a negative sentence. Mm. Mm. So I think Lorena said four enough. Boom, good, okay, good. <laughs> Lorena and Alexia, enough, good. Um, awesome. Should I read the next one? Sure. There are blank great features in this penthouse, like a walk-in closet and a fireplace. Yes, this sounds like somebody selling a house, <laughs> doesn't it? Yep. There are mm, great features in this house, like a walk-in closet, a fireplace, a swimming pool, a home theater, yeah, could be. Hmm. So, Lorena and Alexia, I think, got it. Lorena, Alexia said some perfect, good Brilliant. stuff. Nice ladies. They are like neck and neck, the two Formula One races. Very exciting. <laughs> stuff here. What's the uh, score? Yeah, what's the score? Yeah, what's the score? 
Alexia is on 11 and Lorena is on 9. Um, so, and Lorena. I've only got one point. Yeah, you have. But if it makes you feel any better, I don't have any. So, uh, number six, we have mm, beautiful mansions for sale, but we don't have mm, houseboats for sale. Hmm. So what do you think, guys? Uh, Lorena, number six, some, any. Yep. Beatricia, some. What about the last one? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Have a think. Some, any. Or oh, again, those two. This is the rivalry of the century. Incredible stuff playing out here today. Incredible. I think we could make it give someone a point if they can describe enough, Oscar. What do you think? If they can define enough. Yeah, define enough. Tell us what it means. Mm. Enough. Okay. Hey? Uh, can you define I, enough? Enough. Because I find sometimes in the lessons and focuses, some of the students get quite confused with enough. Good. Okay. Yeah. I will give two points to the best definition of this. And you can't copy and paste from Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> we will notice it. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, enough. Um, no. Brogan, yes. do you have enough sunlight in your apartment? No, I don't have enough. We only have one big door and a small window, so there isn't enough light. Oh, okay. What about do you, you Oscar? Do you have a balcony? Yes, oh, we've got a wow. balcony, but there is buildings across from us, oh. so it blocks the light. Oh, annoying. Yeah. And no new sunbathing. Nothing. Okay, um, yeah, I have a good amount of light. I have a nice big window in my room, um, but I can't keep the windows open at night because it lets the mosquitoes in. It's very, <laughs> very sad. Um, right, we're going to put a time limit on this. There's a bonus points. There's two points up for grabs. Points, Can you just yeah. find enough? Give us a sentence. Maybe give us, yeah, give you maybe one more minute. If not, uh, me or Brogan will define it. Oh. Mm. Okay. Um, what about you, Oscar? Do you have any? Do you have any flatmates? Yes, I have one flatmate uh, left. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I have enough flatmates. Um, I would like another one. Oh, Beatrice. Oh. <laughs> All right, good. It's nearly perfect. But again, Beatricia, please, attention there with the spelling. Yeah. I hope that's how you spell that. What is that? Yeah. Oh, adequate. Nice. Mm. So the amount that's a great, that is. Great synonym. Yeah. Not very good. Yeah. If I have one pizza for lunch, very good, Beatricia. Thank you for correcting it. Very good. Yep. One pizza is enough for lunch. One pizza is adequate. Mm -hmm. Four pizzas for lunch is broken. More than enough? More than enough. <laughs> I guess it's, it's more, more than enough. Yeah. But yeah, if four pizzas for lunch is more than enough. You definitely mm -hmm. don't need more than four pizzas. No, what would it you is say? More than enough. Well, I think. I would make it more negative because more than enough, I think, is usually positive. Like, oh, yeah, we've got more than enough. Yeah. But if, okay. if you have four pizzas, it's too many. Oh, OK. Sorry. <laughs> I thought we were but using you're, enough. You're right. You're right. I just you don't really use them. Much. Right. Fantastic, guys. Well done. Um, OK. Uh, Beatricia, you will get your bonus points there. Well done, Beatricia. Boom. Good stuff. I like it. Right. Um, use enough, any, and some. Okay. Look around your room. Use enough, any, and some to describe what's there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what isn't there? 
Right, guys, again, there's more points for grabs. Um, Beatrice, yes. Alexia, Lorena, Gino, and Brogan. Um, yes. <laughs> if you use these enough, any and some, to describe what is in your room, what can you see now? Can you write a sentence with any, a sentence with enough, a sentence with some, for us, and use negatives as well, yeah? I don't have any, hmm. there isn't enough. Hmm. All right, good. Uh, while you are writing your lovely sentences, I mean, Brogan, using these. Um, do you have any plants? I do have, I do have some plants, but I don't think I have enough. Mm. I would love more plants in my apartments. Good. But yeah. there is never enough sunlight, so they always die. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about I you, have, Oscar? <laughs> I have enough plants. I have four plants, um, but only one of them is real. The rest <laughs> are like this. <laughs> okay. Because plants under my care die quickly. Yeah. Um, which reminds me, I need to water the other one that's real. <laughs> You've got um, one, Oscar. Keep him alive <laughs> during quarantine. <laughs> I know. I'll try, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any books? Yes. Uh, I have a lot of books in my apartment. We've got a whole a whole wall full of books. Really? Yeah. Are they your books? No. <laughs> They're not mine, but it looks nice. For decoration, yeah. it looks cool. I look okay. like I read a lot. What about yeah. you, Oscar? Um, I have a small library of six books. Nice. Um, some Italian books, some uh, philosophy books, Ooh. but they're not really being read. No. Right, fantastic guys, thank you. Absolutely brilliant for commentating, well done. In my room, there are two tables and four chairs. There aren't any plants, but there are some books. Oh, that nice, is brilliant, Alexia, well done. Really good. But remember, your capital T, there, start of a new sentence, capital letter, yeah. good. Lorena, in my room, there are some chairs and pictures, but there aren't enough plants, there is only one fantastic nice, well is really very good very good mm -hmm. Lorena and Beatricia in my school there aren't enough plants yeah really good we will tell them Patricia that they need to put yes. plants in your school <laughs> yeah we will uh, fi file a complaint very good <laughs> well done. good guys nice. too much and Ooh. too many yes more quantifiers again they have the gaps, fill in the gaps. Mm. You've got too many, too much, too, lots of, a lot of. Okay. Uh, Program, would you like to read these sentences of while course. they fill in the gaps? Cool. Okay. Number one, I love this ranch. There is blank space for my dogs. Number two, I don't like this mansion. There are blank rooms. Number three, this houseboat is great. It costs blank money for me to buy it. Um, this chalet is beautiful, but it's blank small for me. Number five, there are blank trees near the swimming pool and the leaves fall in the water. Hmm. Yes, that's the downside of uh, swimming pools is keeping them clean, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. My dad has a natural swimming pool. Oh, very which cool. Is like a pond that is supposed to clean itself, but just gets really, really dirty. It doesn't okay. work. Um, uh, I suppose they, yeah. Okay, number one. I love this ranch. There's mm, space for my five dogs. All right, Gino. Um, too much. Mm. So remember, too much and too many. Are they positive or negative, Brogan? Negative. They are negative. negative. Yeah. So it's not too much. Mm -hmm. Patricia, um, a lot. There's lots, 
Yeah, could be. Or there's a lot of. A lot of. Very good. There's a really lot good. of space. Yeah. Well done, well done. Alex, yeah. And Patricia points points there. Good stuff. Okay, number two. Number two. Right. Um, I don't like this mansion. There are mm, rooms. So yeah. it's going to be negative. Yep. Number two. Gino, too many. Yeah, okay. good. Nice. Patricia, too many. Very good. Well done, guys. Just the spelling for Patricia, it's with two O's. Too many. Too many. Good. This houseboat is great, but it costs mm, money for me to buy it. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Gino says too much. Alexia, oh no, she's saying too much. Um, okay, Alexia, number two. <clears throat> One room, two rooms. It's countable. Mm -hmm. For countable, we use too many. Countable equals too countable many. many. Uncountable, much. Thanks. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, so number three, uh, Gino has it for too much. Nice. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Too much money. We can't count money, but we can count one pound, two pounds, one euro, two euros. Number four, Brogan, could you read this one again? Yes. The chalet is beautiful, but it's blank small for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gino, number four, two. Very good. Alexia, two. Fantastic, guys. Really good. Too small. Lovely. Good. Uh, Lorena, have we lost you? We need you to go in. Oh, she's doing it all at the end. She's doing it all together, I'm sure. Okay. She'll be there in a sec. Okay. All right. Last one, number five. There are blank trees near the swimming pool and the leaves fall in the water. Hmm. What do we think for number five? Hmm. Should I say it? If you want that, wait. I think we can, <laughs> we can wait. <laughs> I know you're desperate to catch up. I'm very competitive, Oscar. Oh, I can really tell. Yeah, you 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 might you might win. Um, they'll they'll comment. I'm sure these guys are doing really well. We'll wait for them. Yep. Um, yeah. I think maybe it could be two answers for this one. Yeah. I think it could be. Yeah. True. A lot of trees. Yeah. Because I was thinking, oh, it's not, yeah, I agree, Oscar. But I also think there's too many, too many. I trees. think exactly. So I'll give Alexia and Beatrice a points there. I think it could be both. Because that's probably a dad that has to clean the swimming pool every weekend, saying there's too many trees around the swimming pool. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Lovely guys. Well done. Thank you for commentating. Yeah, well done. Who's winning, right. Oscar? Um, Gino, can I use too many? Yeah, yeah, you can, because it's a negative as well. Oh, there's too many trees near the pool. The leaves are going in the water. Absolutely, Gino, yeah. Um, who's winning? You want to you do the points? Yeah, okay, I so who's winning. Um, last place is Brogan with one win. <laughs> we have uh, Gino, you're on six. Nice. Beatricia, you're on 11. Wow. Lorena's on 11. And Alexia is way ahead on 16. Well done, Very Alexia. Good. There's still time. Things could change <laughs> in this crazy game we call my ES webinars. Um, write a short description. Okay, maybe we'll come back to that. Yeah. What do you want to know? Okay. Mm. Um, let's go into describing. So, what, or should we say which features? Yeah. Do you want your dream home to have? So there's lots of features that we haven't talked about in this lesson, okay? In this focus. What are some other features, Brogan? For me, I would like a, a big art studio 
I would oh. love an art studio oh. with lots of natural sunlight. Another feature, I would love a pizza oven in my garden. <laughs> yeah, lovely. And what about you, Oscar? What features would you like? Well, I think it would be nice maybe to have a sauna. Oh, okay. Yeah, to have a sauna. sauna. Um, maybe a library. A very big room with <laughs> lots of books where I can <laughs> study Italian. Um, very good. Library, yeah. Uh, or a pool table. I like playing pool. Oh, nice. Pool table. What about a bar? I would love a bar in my, my dream home. Let's throw it in, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So there's a few more examples of features. Think of five features that you must have in your dream home. Okay. Features to have in your dream home, guys. It can be any anything you can think of. Um, Lorena, thank you. I would like to have a big garden because now I can't go out. Me yeah. too, Lorena. Me yeah, too. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I think we all wish we had a big garden now. <laughs> I wish I had a dog even more because Me if you too. have a dog, you can go for a walk. Exactly. Yeah. You're allowed to break quarantine with a dog. Um, mm -hmm. Might be a good business. You could rent out dogs. Anyway, well, I thought um, about, oh, carry on. No, go on. <laughs> I thought about fostering a dog at this time. Because oh. then the dog could have a nice little holiday and I could go outside for walks every now and then. Very nice. Can you do that? Just foster a dog? Yeah, you can. I think wow. so. Yeah. You can Actually, foster them for the time that you're able to look after them. And hopefully in that time, they found someone to adopt it. Very nice. Very nice. Patricia, uh, so my dream home, uh, I'd have a great studio, a sauna and a garden. Good. Okay. So um, let's see. My dream home how can we say this my dream home yeah. would have or well, in my dream home i would have yeah could be yeah my dream home would have a great studio a sauna and a garden very good points for you lovely alexia uh, in my dream home i would like oh i'd would you've uh, used words twice <laughs> I would or I'd, okay? In my dream home, I'd like to have a big garden with a swimming pool and also a pizza oven. Very nice. I'm yeah. with you, Alexia. There you go. I'm imagining you now, Brogan, doing a little bit of art and then sauntering over <laughs> to the pizza oven. That, that then having good. a little dip in the pool. Oh, yeah. I would love it. Sounds like a good life. Good. <laughs> cool. Hmm. What about um, like a tennis court, right? We could have a tennis court. Is a trampoline a feature? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's definitely a feature, Oscar. Would you I like a trampoline? You, I'd like a trampoline, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've tried, I've got one here, but it's not the same. I keep hitting my yeah, head. You're, you're a bit more um, trampoline inside. Do you know, my dream home would have a big garden around it. Behind it, capital B. Behind it, I would like a heated swimming pool, and on the left, a vegetable garden. Nice. I would also like an underground garage. Fantastic, Gina. I like really that. good. Your writing is amazing, guys. Well done. Yeah, really good. Very good. Um, really enjoyed reading them. It was very good. Yeah. Uh, an underground garage. Nice. Interesting. Nice. Right. Mm -hmm. Garage, yeah. I think if you're American, you say garage. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say garage. It's a good, good, garage. good to hear. Am I British, Oscar? Yeah, well, you're, you're, close, you're close enough. Yeah. If there's an American, then you'll you'll come over and we'll team up. But <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Fantastic, guys. Cool. Really good. Well done, guys. Yeah. Um, what features can't you live without? Right. Mm. What features can't you live without? So think about your apartment now your home now. What features can't you live without? For example, 
I can't live without. <laughs> say, I can't live without my kitchen. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> I think just uh, having to order in food, probably not really a possibility. Yeah, I like having a kitchen. Yeah. I think I can't live without my sofa or couch. Really? Yeah, because I quite like coming home and just relaxing for a bit on the couch. Mm, okay. I mean, I could live without it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think this I can't live without something is really like a, a metaphor, isn't it? Yeah. Like, we know like you can literally but we use it as an expression like oh man i can't live without lasagna it's exactly. just an expression usually yeah. yeah it's not literal not you literal. can live without it yeah i could live without a kitchen yeah um i think for me because i'm a wimp i can't live I'm a typical millennial. <laughs> I can't live without fast internet. Mm, good one. I think for me that will be a uh, be the end of it. If I'm in quarantine and my internet goes, I'm going to go out the window very quickly. <laughs> we also probably wouldn't have a job. <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah, but also there would rather be other issues. Good point. Yeah, <laughs> Dina, I can't live without the light that go through the windows um for that i would like a lot of big windows in my house okay good gina i can't live without the light that go through the windows so i go you go it hmm need to change the verb for that i would like yeah very good gina really good points for you uh, Lorena, I can't live without my bathroom. I have a lot of makeup products. Very good. Nice, Lorena. Very nice, yeah. Actually, yeah, I can't live without my shower. Yeah. Without my shower because I need it to wake up in the morning. Yeah. If I don't have a shower, then I can't. I just feel sleepy all day. Uh, Gino goes fantastic, nice. really good. Gino, yeah. I can't live without my bed and my TV. Yeah, nice. I think the bed is very important. Good, Alexia. Points for you, uh, Beatrice. I can't live without much windows because I adore natural light. Okay, because I adore natural light. Fantastic, really good. I really like that. I can't live without much windows. Nice. So. One window, two windows is countable. Okay. So much. Hmm. Can you think of a different quantifier there, Patricia? Think of a different one. Hmm. Yes. Um, what are some other quantifiers we can leave them with, Brogan, that we haven't covered here? Oh my gosh. Uh Plenty of. Yeah, absolutely. Of. A few. Mm. A bit. Yeah. Mm. Um, can you think of any more? I mean, um, there's plenty of. Yeah, maybe loads of. Loads of. Mm -hmm. So examples of more quantifiers. Um, I can't live without many windows. Yes, um, but that's good. We usually use many. What do you think in the question? I, I think. Yeah, I can't, live, I can't live without. So we'd probably say, I can't live without a lot. A lot of windows. Yeah, without a lot. Mm -hmm. But I think it's still okay. It's very good. Yeah. And exactly. Countable many, uncountable much. Very good. And we've got some examples here, guys. If you want to practice, there's more quantifiers here, plenty of, a little bit of, um, and we can practice there. Okay, right. It's nearly time to go.
the yeah. ultimate winner of today's focus. Oh. I know the grand total is Alexia. Look how many points Ooh. she has. <laughs> Well done, she has Alexia. 17. Really good, Alexia. We love it. Very good. Lorena and Beatricia, you are tied. You are drawed on 12. Wow. Really good. Gino, oh you were making good progress <laughs> on eight. And honorable mention, Brogan, on her one. Thanks for really trying. Good. Fantastic, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you oh. for commentating. Thank you for interacting. Yes. And we hope you stay safe in the quarantine. Uh, and we will hopefully see you soon. Okay. Oh. Thanks, guys. All Ciao. right. Bye, guys. Bye. Well done. Bye. <laughs>